Welcome to Francis Quilts, the site dedicated to the wonderful art of quilting, with a few other fun things thrown in as well. If you like what you see here, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you can be notified of future videos. Hey guys, welcome back to Francis Quilts. If you have been reading my blog, and I encourage you to check it out, I have been on the hunt in the last few weeks for a thimble that would work with my arthritic fingers. You see, I have these humps here on my fingers and they just push off any thimble. If I have a thimble that fits here on the end, it just pushes it off with that hump and I just was driving me crazy. On Tuesday, I posted on the blog about my ugly thimble that I added some elastic to and sewed the elastic in place. So now it's a really ugly thimble and that works well. I have to kind of push it on, kind of have to tug it in place here, but that, that works well and it's not gonna come off. Well, someone had mentioned in one of the um, comments that I should try an elastic bandage. So I bought this uh, one inch elastic bandage and tried it today and man, I think it's gonna work. Let me show you how I put it on and, uh, and just give you a little demonstration. I'm using this self-adhering elastic bandage uh, to make myself a thimble, and it seems to have worked pretty well. I've already used this piece once, and I want to show you that it can be used more than once. So I have a piece that's about three inches, I would say, and what I'm going to do is just start wrapping it around my finger up very close to the tip. I'm going to wrap once around, and then I'm going to go, I'm going to make it go over the top, and then kind of fold that under and bring it around again. That it seems to be working really well. Let me show you. Let's just do so, a basic stitch here. This is through a layer of batting. You can see that works very well. Um, it, it's holding well. It's not coming off of my finger. And one of the interesting things to me is that the needle is not sticking through that bandage. Um, if I stick over here where I only have one layer, it will go through just a little bit but right there it doesn't. So I think I'll just need to perfect my wrapping technique a little bit more to make sure that I have more than one layer right here on this end because that's where I use, tend to use my thimble. But man, does that work and it fits really well and uh, it's not gonna come off. But when I wanna take it off, I can. We're gonna give this one a try and see if this is maybe the solution for my arthritic fingers. Have you ever tried this? What thimble do you find best? Please let me know because I still am on the hunt for the very best thing that will solve my problems with my arthritis. And I know there's a bunch of us out there that have that problem. That's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time on Francis Quilts. Remember, if you like what you've seen, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Please check out my website and daily blog at francisquilts.com and I can be found on Facebook and Instagram at Francis Quilts. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope to see you again soon.